Hey guys, welcome to another video for anatomy and physiology. In this video, we're studying the skeletal system and we're going to highlight the five types of bones uh, in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be looking at the five types of bones I have here listed up on the screen. We have your flat bones, long bones, short bones, irregular bones, and the sesamoid bones. So we're gonna go one by one real quick just to kind of give you a quick example of, of the types of bones that we're looking at. So the first type here is your flat bones. And we come across the cranial bones. Here's scapula. Now if you'll notice with these flat bones, these bones are, they serve as protection, kind of like a shield. So they typically cover a, a fairly large area. Okay, and they're also served for uh, large attachments for muscles, like particular with your scapula and your sternum as well with your pecs, your pectoral muscles. So the next set of bones, the second type is the long bones. These are longer than they are wide. They typically support weight, like your femur, your tibia, and your fibula. They also facilitate movement, like your radius ulna and your humerus. You also find them in your metacarpals, metatarsals, and your phalanges, and these are your long bones. So for the third type of bone, from long bone, we go to short bone, and these short bones are typically found, um, they're typically found in your joints, like in your carpals, your uh, wrist, and the tarsals, and the ankles. These bones are about as wide as they are long, okay, and they serve for stability. And then fourth, we have your irregular bones, like your vertebrae. You can zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, these, these bones vary in shape and structure. They don't typically fit a category, so they, they have their own. Um, they have very complex shape, and because of that, they have their own um, category here. So your pelvic bones are also an example of irregular bones, along with your vertebrae right there. And then last but not least, you have your sesamoid bones. These sesamoid bones are typically embedded in, uh, in tendons. You find those in your hands, your knees, and your uh, feet. And uh, they, protect the, they protect the tendons from stress and wear and tear. And like I said, they're suspended within uh, tendons, not actually on bone. And well, that does it for your bones, the five types of bones. I hope this video helped and good luck in your studying.